George Elder, and I'm the president and operator of Adonai Software. Welcome back. While designing applications in our speed designer, you may have the need to reach different types of viewers. Sometimes, you will need to reach out to customers slash users from other cultures or countries. In this block of training, we will discuss how powerful and flexible our speed designer is regarding localization. We will accomplish localizing our speed designer by the use of the ASP.NET resource manager and the resource file. Before we get started, there's a couple of things that we might want to discuss or ask ourselves. The first one is, what is software localizing? Well, simply put, it means the adapting computer software to different languages, regional differences, and technical requirements of a targeted market or audience. The second question is, why localize your application? Well, also, uh, it gives you the ability to have a multilingualized system, which is intended for use in one specific language, specifically like English, French, German, Italian, and etc. But the application is capable of handling multilingual content as data. Believe it or not, Ironspeed Designer automatically creates right out of the box a multilingual, multicultural applications for you. You can instruct Ironspeed Designer to build your application for a particular culture via the application information screen of the application wizard in Ironspeed Designer. Okay, let's get started. What you'll need to localize your application, first off, you need a copy of the Iron Speed Designer, uh, the current version, of course. The current version of the .NET framework, you'll need Microsoft Visual Studios, a copy of the most current Acme Iron Speed Designer example. You may download the Acme Order Management System at http colon forward slash forward slash www.ironspeed.com forward slash products forward slash sample applications dot ASPX. As discussed earlier, we're going to be using the application wizard um, to tell Ironspeed to localize your application. Right out of the box, Ironspeed provides tons of languages that you can use to localize your application. You select the you select the application language over here and you move it over here to the selected language. Um, you can also set the default language. That means that whenever that application comes up, um, whatever the default language is will show first and then you can have the ability to loop through each language to make a change. And so what happens this default language is English. After rendering your application, um, you will notice that up top you will see a localized drop-down box. And this is created by Airspeed Designer uh, without pretty much any effort on your part. And if you notice that drop-down box, you can click it and it will drop down the languages that you selected in the right box or the right column and it will localize certain things in your application. Here I have the standard Acme Iron Speed Designer example up on the screen. And in the top right corner you'll notice that there's a localizing drop down box and the default is English. And if you depress uh, the button it will drop down uh, French, German, and Spanish. Uh, for the scope of this project, we'll be using just English and Spanish. And I've already take, taken the liberty of um, changing some of the labels, as you'll see under the customers. Um, when I depress the Spanish, a couple of labels will change. For instance, the telephone will we'll go to telefono, which is a Spanish word for telephone as well as Dirección is the Spanish word for English. And I will show you how we did this.
Well, this is how we did it. Uh, you go to Visual Studios and you go under the Application Global Resources, which will have uh, the Acme OMS uh, resource file. And the resource file is depicted as the .resx that says the resource file. Well, you use the resource file, you double click on it and you open it up. And it will have a list of all the resources that you have in your application, for instance, button and the Spanish equivalent of button add. Now, what we're going to use is a text property which is signified by the TXT. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the city. So what we're going to do is we're just simply going to come down here and add a string. We're going to type in capital T, X, T, colon, and for city, we're going to type in the Spanish equivalent. And this is the Spanish equivalent. So when if we use the text property resource value of the city, it should bring up this value. We hit save. And we also have to go to the English portion because we're going to be using the resource as a text file, or the resource text file. Colon, city. And we want English, so we're going to type in city. We're going to hit save. And then we have to go back to Iron Speed Designer and go into design mode. As you notice right off for telephone, um, I have in the label text property that the curly Q or the brackets, whatever you want to call them, txt colon phone. Well, we're going to do the same for city, the city label. I'm going to change that. I'm going to use the curly Q bracket, T, X, T, colon. I'm going to use city. I'm going to close it. We're going to get save and render again. While this is rendering, um, as you'll notice, that city will change to the Spanish word for city. Just a few more seconds. Okay, there's that word for, for city. If we go back to English, then it goes back to city. Now understand, um, specifically, the reason why we had to change the English is because now we're using the resource instead of just using a straight string. So if you go to French, where we did not change it, you'll notice that TXT city will show up as well as for German as well. But since we changed it for Spanish, there's a word. To conclude, we have used RSP Designer to localize our application and we changed the labels within the application to, to basically reflect another language. Um, thank you uh, for participating in this block of instruction and we will see you next time. And if you would like to contact the presenter uh, of this uh, application, please feel free to do so at the documentation or the <laughs>